I don't know anything about music, but I am crazy about Joanne. Everybody wants to be Joanne Folletta. Virginia Symphony uh, would be here without, without Joanne, without you. Joanne is totally a rock star. Her rock star status is pretty rocking. Everybody loves her. She's always, uh, you know, she works this charm wherever she goes. It would be incredible to be Joanne Folletta. <laughs> Joanne, congratulations. I think you've had a good start to your career. Let's go right at the beginning. Scheherazade. The opera sings to the symphony. The arts festival needs them for all of their productions. Everybody is involved with the symphony in one way or the other because that is the center of the arts here in Hampton Roads. And to have someone of her caliber and someone of her generosity to be in that position makes it uh, not only a richer place, but a constantly growing place. It definitely has brought uh, a lot of cachet to the Virginia Symphony uh, to have her name on the letterhead there, yeah. A lot of people don't realize this, the week she's not in Virginia or Buffalo, she's guest conducting somewhere around the world. Often I'll be like, where were you last week in Buffalo? She's like, no, Israel. <laughs> no, Austria. Um, I'm not kidding. It's amazing. The Virginia Symphony is known all over the world to be a fine, fine orchestra. You know, every once in a while you'll have someone say, you know, we wish Joanne was here more, but I think it's more valuable to us the fact that she isn't here all the time because it spreads the word of the Virginia Symphony and what an incredible artistic community we have here in Norfolk and in Hampton Roads. I've really noticed a change in the last 10 or 15 years how much the business community understands that the arts are really important to the quality of life and their ability to attract new business, retain current companies that are here. It never hurts to have a first class anything in your city. We play in so many communities, we're helping everybody's economy. She's amazing. So when she goes out there, it's a real positive thing for our community. We bask in that reputation and that recognition. And we have this fantastic young choir here, the Virginia Children's Choir, and last year we did Bernstein Mass with them, and I mean, they basically, in my opinion, stole the show. We got to sit and watch Ms. Fleta conduct, and it was amazing. She was so passionate and into the music. She expresses the music perfectly. She communicated the, the beauty of the agony that these men were feeling. So fierce, though. It was amazing. <laughs> she looks at us and she gives you eye contact and she's like, hey, you're next. You can see in her emotions and in her body that she is loving the music. Almost like gentle and slow and then it changes and she starts like waving her arms really furiously. She has this soft side to her and then she's like this whirling dervish when she gets into action and when you see her, you know, on the stage. I love seeing her conduct from the podium. It's almost like she's dancing. You would never know she was a huge rock star of the classical world because of her demeanors. There's no diva. There's only the kindest, warmest. And to see her up on stage, she looks like this powerful, statuesque, large, moving conductor. But when you stand next to her, she's actually quite petite and um, soft-spoken. She's very open with the musicians, uh, emotionally open with the musicians. She has a very gentle style, but she, there's also a very strong will underneath that. She reprimands you in such a way that we refer to it as the velvet reprimand. She can be a little sassy sometimes, I really enjoy that, but always wanting for the best. Virginia Symphony has, has sort of grown up and become a world-class regional symphony. There's a part of her that wants things to be just as good as they can be for the world around her, and that creates a great energy. She demands excellence, and she wants it to be first rate. And I think because she becomes prepared and is passionate about what she does, that spills over into the orchestra and, and their passion for what they're doing. She knows a lot of music and she wants to play the toughest pieces. Just the other day, Scheherazade without a score. It's come a long way under the baton of Joanne. Carnegie Hall was a wonderful experience for all of us. We all just kind of looked like, Carnegie Hall? Are you sure, Joanne? 
And she's very calmly, oh yes, oh yes, we're going. Everyone uh, held their breath. So then it was doubly delightful that in fact, the uh, Virginia Symphony did get a good review from the Times. Then to follow it up with this really spectacular performance at the Kennedy Center and the good reviews that came out of that told everybody that the Virginia Symphony was really more than just a regional symphony. It was really could play on a national level. This was a huge thing. So of course we, we felt wonderful. She has the ability to make everyone feel as if they're valued when she works with them. She is concerned about me as a person first. Then she goes to what I can do musically. She has this ability to look you right in the eyes and make you feel as if you were the only person in the room and the only thing she cares about at that moment. And that is Joanne. That's totally sincere. Joanne gets it. She understands that in order for anybody to do any job that they have, they have to feel valued and feel good. She's incredibly humble and she always talks to us like we're at her level even though we so aren't even close. And she knows that she's working with talented musicians and getting a lot out of them and so that sort of renews her spirit and she wants to show that and, and share that with the audience. People want to be with her. She's kind of like a Tom Sawyer, come along with me and paint the, the picket fence and, and you will make this orchestra, the best regional orchestra in the United States, states if not the world. Joanne, thanks for being such an important part of our life here in Norfolk and the great success that we've enjoyed with your assistance. You have basically put us on the musical map. We are here because of you. I've especially wa uh, enjoyed watching you grow the orchestra and the wonderful relationship you have with the orchestra. You've been a great treasure for this community. You have changed the face of downtown and the face of Hampton Roads. All the things that you have done to to conduct us, to befriend us, to make us feel one with the music have been the best years of my life. I can't communicate to you how much working with you has meant to me and how much of an honor and a blessing it has been to work with you. And you really have left a really big Im impact on the people you've worked with. I hope we can do a lot more things in the future because I'd, I'd rather, I'd not want to do it with anyone else. Congratulations, Joanne. We love you. Music proves to me again and again that there's something about the human spirit that is truly beautiful. And, and this is a legacy. We have a kind of living legacy that we're constantly adding to uh, in music, a proof of that, of something that is right with the world.